Good evening, chat. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I had a brain fart for a moment. I was like, what is this? What am I doing? Oh yeah, it's a stream. One of those things. Uh, so mostly doing Persona 3 tonight. That's the main event. However, Doki Doki Sigma Club 2 has released and it is it is imperative that I play it for you all. So, if you guys don't remember Doki Doki Sigma Club, uh, it was a Doki Doki Literature Club mod that I played in one of the earlier Otato sacks. I don't remember which one. There'll be, like, Monica or something on the thumbnail if you want to look for it. Uh, so anyway, uh, in that game, mod, whatever you want to call it, uh, Chad joined the, the, the literature club, and, uh, I, I'm pretty sure he just fucked everyone, including the protagonist. Um, so, here we are, we have Sigma Club 2, Sigma Stigma, is a Doki Doki literature club fan mod that is not affiliated in any way with Team Salvato, bro. It is designed to be played only after the official game has been completed and contains spoilers for the official game, bro. Please make sure to play the first Sigma Club at... That's one of those links ever. Yep. Mediafire. Game files for Doki Doki Literature Club are required to play this mod and can be downloaded for free at ddlc.moe or on Steam, bro. You know, I actually find this really funny that it says this because I forgot to grab the files, so I just went to go launch the game. And it gives you an error. So you can't even see this message unless you actually have the uh, the game installed and then the mod installed on top of it. So it seems kind of like a waste, but I think that's part of like Dan Salvato's like licensing to like have mods for his game. So you have to include that line. Like all of this is required uh, to make mods or whatever really no no fault of the Smegma Club devs. By playing Sigma Club 2 Sigma Stigma, you agree that you have completed Doki Doki Literature Club and accept any spoilers contained within. It's such like a funny... Let's Play mode has been enabled automatically. This mode allows you to skip content that contains sensitive information and apply alternative story options. This setting will be dependent on the modder if they program these checks in their story. To turn off Let's Play mode, visit settings and uncheck Let's Play mode. Well, I think I am in Let's Play. Oh my god! <laughs> Is this the evil within? <laughs> no, it, why did it have to be this sauce? <laughs> oh no. Already off to a great start. Alright. Where they what? Please enter your name. Oh, Tato. Brought to you by Kennedy Productions. Look at that absolute unit. He's quite built. I can already tell the production value is so much better than the original. In association with the JQ crew. The Jelk crew? The long-awaited sequel. Sigma Club 2. Sigma Stigma. Yo, why you got like Splatoon 2 covers? Uh, co covers? Splatoon 2 colors. I'll be honest with you, this one isn't as good or funny as the first. They're just, they're trying to set expectations low. Dude, bro's having an existential crisis right now. I'm about to splat! <laughs> Three days. Three days since it all happened. Chad hasn't come back. Neither have the girls. He's going through an NTR PTSD episode, understandable. This isn't rent a peak, so he isn't like he doesn't have an, like a a massive erection at the thought of getting cooked. But where is the question? The orange sunlight begins to disappear from my window as the sun sets. Also, I have my beer. I still have some of that bad Santa ale. I figured alcohol would be a good pairing with Sigma Club. I'm still processing what happened that week. Where did Chad even come from? 
I'm gonna scream and cry and get erect as I, as my rented GM gets pounded by another man. Rent a peak! None of it made sense, and now another night goes by where I sleep it off and hope everything is back to normal the next day. Yo. He asked where Chad came from. Perfect opportunity was missed to ask where did he go? Where did he come from? Hat and I, Joe. But nothing ever happens, and it never will. The chat is real! The annoying bickering of my... Wait, no. I get out of bed and get dressed. Ready for another uneventful day at school. Class is just as boring as ever. Why out of all languages did I have to take? French. This Jean-Pierre Baptiste looking motherfucker of a teacher really gets on my nerves. <laughs> and so is everyone at school. People have been asking me where Yuri, Sayuri, and Natsuki are. And no one gives a flying fuck about Monica. Snow based! I always just shrug and say I have no clue. Because, well, I don't. How could I ever know where they are? They just vanished and never came back. This Kennedy guy is a genius. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> the duality of man. But I can't say that to people. They think I'm a lunatic. I sit in silence, waiting for that damn bell to go off. Oh, he's sitting in silence? Yo, is he literally Ryan Gosling from Drive? I'd sit here and listen to this teacher talk about his shitty language any longer. I'm gonna lose my mind. Bitch ass teacher. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you guys a pop quiz. This is for a grade, so I really hope you've been paying attention. I'm gonna kill myself, I swear to God. I'm gonna run off the road and kill myself. My only enemy is myself. <laughs> Finally home. I get an alert on my phone. Jason? Yo, who the fuck is this guy? Yo, me and Ray Keese are playing Smash Bros at my place. You coming or what? Javier and Wyatt may join us too. Another alert comes not soon after that. <laughs> Who's, what the fuck? It's the guy eating macaroni. That wasn't a choice, ass face. Come over here. I respond to them both, saying that I'll be over soon. Fucking Ray Keese. I get ready to leave my house. I see the white claw that Chad left, Chad left on my counter. Jacobic's white claw, ladies and gents. Oh no, did they just lampshade? I leave my house and head over to Jason's to play Smash Bros. Falcon Punch! Oh. Fuck! Fucking loser. Oh, fuck you and your up smash. Everyone bursts into laughter as Ray Keese loses his last stock. You landed. You landed into it, dude. Javier, what the fuck? He's got the. You got, got the sombrero. Yeah, man. You just had to see that coming. Alright, hold on. I take great offense to being called Virgin Otato. Hold on, this is really loud. Using Byleth? Fucking cringe. Yeah. Playing Smash? Fucking cringe. Yeah, man, you had to see that coming. Wyatt and Jason are the only ones left fighting for the win. Why it's Captain Falcon's no joke, but Jason's DLC privilege Byleth annoys all of us to no end. Wow, they made Otato from Sigma Club a real thing. Don't even get started on his Pyra Mithra. Falcon Punch! Yo, Falcon Punch. I didn't have to say that. Damn it! We all laugh as the game ends. Yeah, but you can't face me and my jucker. I checked my phone. Oh shit, it's 5.40, gotta go. Holy shit, it's 1 a.m. We've been here for 10 hours? Time flies. I better get going, and not one of them showered. Same. Alright, have a good one, boys. Later. Rakis and I part ways after leaving the house, and I make my way home. I walk home, and before I go to bed, I decide to get a snack. See the white claw on the table. It fucking moves! It all flashes by me again. Yo, Chad's in my bed, waiting to take me. I stare at it for a while. My phone buzzes again. It's not in my contacts. <laughs> None of them showered as Smash players usually do. Yep. That's why I said it. <laughs> Unknown contact. Drink it, my friend. Who the hell? 
Hey, I'm a high schooler. I shouldn't be drinking White Claws. But there ain't no law when you're on the claw. I was probably going to drink it with my... With little hesitation before I got this text, but... Now this is just ominous. I reached to pick it up. NTR Pro Tag gets fucked. It's cold. Somehow. I want to put it down. I stare at it in my hand for minutes on end. It's Tuesday in it? No, it's Wednesday. I pop it open. I bring it close to my mouth. At least I hope it's Wednesday, otherwise I should be in bed for work. It is Wednesday. Okay, don't fuck with me like that. I take a sip. Javier added some crazy space backgrounds and shit. The prophecy is true type deal. <laughs> why? Boy, why are you so head? Leave that note in the mod. This one too if you want. Triple dots. I get it. I get it. The knowledge. I know what to do. What the fuck? <laughs> the wheat fields! Where's the trend? My girl in the sundress! The wheat fields! Classical piano always kills me. Now, is this a mod an LSD trip or something? It's PTSD from NTR. Weeks go by. I have completed the trials. Oh, okay, just like that. The trials of Sigma. I'm ready to ascend. I hear knocks on my door. I make my way over and open. It's Rakis. Yo, who is this guy? He's gonna say something, but is now standing in shock. Uh, dude? Holy fuck! Sigma Otaro? Stop, bro. Is this what you've been doing all this time? Yeah, bro. Look, bro, uh... We've all been worried. No one has seen you for almost two months now. I've been busy, bro. <laughs> Clearly. Look, man, the crew is gonna play Smash again tonight. It ain't been the same without you. You in? Maybe later, bro. I've got some business to attend. All right, Sigma Otato, I hope to see you there. I go up to my room and sit down on the floor. Focus. Focus. I close my eyes. I, then I realize weapon statistics hovering above me. I feel the world shift around me. Oh my god, I am in an internet porno. I open my eyes. No, he dusted his homies in the endless pursuit of his dream. You don't need homies when you're Sigma. The ground is cold. I take in my surroundings and turn around. A manly figure stands before me. There he is. Chad. So, you finally made it, my friend. So, you're finally made it, my friend. Friend? Yes, bro. Friend. I stand up. <laughs> there he is! I've waited a long time for this. So have I, bro! So... So, where are they? Around. I guess there's no point in delaying any further. Indeed, bro. I've needed this to happen for quite some time. We charge towards each other? <laughs> what the fuck is this? He punches me and starts throwing his fists. He hits me a few times, but I'm mostly unscathed. I jump in the air and do a spinning roundhouse kick to the side of his head. <laughs> this is the battle ever. He blocks it with his arm. It'll take more than that. Bro! He sweeps my legs, knocking me to the ground. He tries to punch my head, but I moved out of the way and grabbed his arm. I stand up and launch him over my shoulder. I slide onto one knee and charge up my fist. Sigma? I throw my fist forward with all my strength. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chad flies through the air. Literally Goku vs. Frieza. Yeah, when do I get to go Super Smegman? I walked over to where he landed. What a lonely existence. I finally ascended only to kill my god, my equal. He lays in front of me, defeated. Thank you, bro. 
Thank you. You have lifted my curse. Now I can go back on the grind and stop concerning myself with sex and women. Chad smiles as he fades away. I turn around and see the girls. They all stare at me. I walk towards them. I open my arms for a hug, and they all do the same. I transport us back to my home. All right, go home. Go home? That's it? Yes, I have a game of Smash Bros to do. They all stare at me confused. Wait a minute, this isn't Smash Bros. This is anal sex. I lead them all outside. Women, that's pretty cringe, bro. I lock the door behind me and walk to Jason's house. The sun begins to set over the horizon. Yeah, he's gonna go smash his bros. <laughs> Smash a bro. If you did smash a bro, make sure to smash that motherfucking like button. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> Written by Jack. Coded by Javier Escuela. Sigma Club coded by some dude named Aya. Wallace. Children. What? Residential Night BG. Oh, okay. The Vroom BG. Is, these are the credits. Freesound.net. That was freesound.org. What? Chads and random images. Google images. Were there some scenes cut out from the Let's Play version? I wouldn't know. Royalty free brawl? Songs used. Let's see. Let's see what songs are. The pussy? The, the what? Play SFM chorus. Batchbug Demon's Call. Dream Cafe, Slice of Life, dedicated to user Trinity Leet Leet in memoriam Ted Red Team Red Mazda. This is all. Rest in peace, Chad Thundercock. Earlier year, current year. See you, space bro. Fun fact: the Chad guy is a real man that doesn't know what a podcast is, and he has a tomboy girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. Cringe. Uh, the pussy. Okay. Uh, well, that was Sigma Club 2. Sigma Stigma. Magma Smellia. Uh, that was uh, quite the experience. I knew that was going to be a short one, which is why I did it first. So I'm going to do a very quick BRB. And uh, when we get back... Click help. Oh, shit. Alright, let me launch the game up. I'll click help. Alright, let's see. Help. You are coping, coping and seeding. You just can't accept you what you're seeing. You cannot accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seeding. The truth is... Coping so hard. Coping, coping and okay, well that was that. Uh yeah. Um anyway. I guess like I was saying, I gotta download the song as my alarm clock. Oh god, how to hate waking up even more. Uh what was I saying? There was something. Oh yeah. Uh I'm going to do a very quick BRB, and when I get back, we'll play some Persona 3. Finally! I feel like Persona 3 has been cursed lately. So, stick around, listen to some tunes. We'll be right back. <laughs> 